जयपुर अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन जाने दर कड़ी के फर्क के ऊपर है। रंस ओके टेन ओवर श्योरली राइट किस लेट्स Let's have a look. It's it, duly. It's not even 140. This got to be 10 overs, right? For the night riders. Oh, it didn't look good, did it? It did not look good at all. 137 for nine. Everybody struggled. I think the best strike rate was in the 135. That might have been Narine, and nobody else uh, above that. It just was holding in the surface. Chen and I were brilliant with the ball, but. Got to say, it doesn't look like a great surface. That's that sort of has to be said. Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, this is a team where. But- You don't blame me for thinking they usually get double of this, right? So you don't blame me for thinking that. I mean, they, they were they were going to have an off night eventually because of the way that they play. But uh, the beach is about what a mile away from the ground. Yeah, it's been put into the twenty-two yard. That's not a good pitch. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, and let's see how it plays in the second innings of the game. But from what I'm seeing there, those cutters that uh, the fizz was bowling, they were spinning hmm. like a long way. So I can't see. I mean, yeah, there might be a bit of June. It might skin on a little bit better, but. Um, it might not look a big total in terms of uh, what we see on the screen, but when you've got a batting unit like CSK who have not played well in the last two games batting, um, this might be a challenging chase. You know something? If 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 Chennai makes this a challenging chase and doesn't get that Chennai challenging chase, all right. If <laughs> Chennai makes this a challenging chase and doesn't get there. uh i think their batters should just then take their bats and go home but well, it's a chase that doesn't need anybody to be overly aggressive up up front a 45 power play does the job uh it's just about keeping wickets they lost wickets at regular a 54 for 1 mm. at one stage i think um you know they lost salt very early and then got the score to 54 inside the power play 56 at the end of the power play it's a good power play for one so it's a decent power play but from then on look at the 14 for 3 through that period and then they just lost wickets on regular occasions and uh, as i said the spinners did a terrific job that that's brilliant and then the fizz at the back end was was really good but it, it's not a good pitch if they get a couple of wickets early kolkata you can see the spinners playing wreaking some havoc through the middle and if they get it right you know might be some jitters in that yellow mm-hmm. camp yet yeah and that uh, the innings progression that you see the second phase of play 7 to 10 that's where ravinder jadeja came on he uh, picked up two wickets bowled him obviously uh, you know right through he's bowled his four overs for 18 runs he's picked up three wickets he's had a good day but that's what he does Whenever the surface gives you something, oh geez, he's going to squeeze that lemon to the last drop. Yeah, I reckon in all formats again, there's not many better. You know, when the the pitch is there for for him just to get a little bit of grip, he he, he very rarely bowls a bad ball. You know, he's always hitting that decent length, and that's across uh, Test match cricket, 50 over cricket, T20 cricket. When there's a, a little bit of spin there, he's uh, he's one hell of a bowler. I mean, they played a couple of iffy shots against him, but yeah. we said before the game that he could do with a performance. Mm. You know, he's got three wickets now. Uh, I still feel he might need to uh, get his pads on as well. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a sense that he might have to get a few runs. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not ultimately confident of uh, CSK chasing yeah. down this target. I just think there's a little bit more of a twist in this game. You know what's happening? I think Michael is one spit and twice shy because yesterday at 160 we said this is going to be an easy clip. Yeah, it's going to be an easy chase for Gujarat. Mm-hmm. Advantage Gujarat. So today he's just hedging his bets a little bit. It's and because, saying, it's because the pitch, of the, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the, the physics last over. I mean. The, mm. He, he bowled one ball to Mitchell Stark. I reckon it pitched this far outside off stump, and it went over the top of middle stump. Yeah, he was ragging it. Yeah, If he's, he's doing that, and Narine, the way that he's Jack whether Ravarty, he's spinning just it, either Jack way, Ravarty. we saw uh, Thick Starner bowl some beauties. Mm. Yeah, they're beating the outside. Anikul Roy's into the mix, so you know they got another option there. Uh, pace off from the quicks. Yeah, it might, it, the good thing for them is their top four all play spin well, mm. right? You have obviously Ajinkya Rahane, who's played you know every surface, every bowler all over the world. Shivam Dubey, who's very destructive against spin. We'll have to see if he has the other gear. Mm. Like, can he just defend the spinners, yeah. or does he want to try to hit them? Because you saw Venkatesh Iyer trying to hit, and again, these boundaries are not humongous, yeah. but there were just so many catches at the boundary, which just means they're not being able to read the bounce on the turn. 
Yeah, no pace. I mean, 80 metres downtown, but 65, 66 sideways. Yeah. And, and with no pace in the surface, the ball's not sliding onto the bat, so you're missing the middle. You've got to get it so clean. And the only ones we saw go near or over the boundary were, were hit right out of the middle of the bat and with timing rather than bludgeoning. Mm. And I think that's one of the things on slow pitches, you've got to time the ball really well. You can't bludgeon it mm. for six. And that's where you see the Russells and maybe Rinku and, 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 and guys struggling. So that may be where Shivam Dubey needs to just be a little bit wary. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if, if Kolkata can pick up a couple in the power play and they don't have to expose Narayan and Chakravati until those middle overs, mm. if they can keep that ball relatively dry, uh, it's, it's there. The power play will hold the key because I think yeah. CSK will probably come out being aggressive. Mm. Yeah. Try and get to 50-60 in the first six. Uh, I think that's the right approach to try and kind of knock the top off the chase. Uh, by playing in, in that fashion, it might get that... You know, they get a couple of uh, early wickets and put a couple in the air. Uh, one thing's for sure, when you're defending a low total, you're going to have to get all your tactics right. The fielding unit's going to have to be on form. Yeah. Probably going to have to take a couple of screamers, a couple of runouts, yeah. uh, cause a bit of chaos. Um, but CSK, certainly in the first six, have got a chance of really almost seeing the game home if they get a good one. Yeah, uh, Ravinder Jadeja, after the, the the innings, has also said that there's plenty of dew. So that's not good news mm. uh, for the spinners. And uh, the Knight Riders have uh, three spinners. So that's not good news for them. He also said that the ball, of course, is holding. And, and uh, he, we, we didn't need to hear that. <laughs> we knew that. We saw it. Uh, but more importantly, he's saying you've got to play normal cricket. The batters have to play a normal game mm. and just... That's how you win. You can't you can't suddenly just change gears and go into your shell thinking it's 130 because that way you're just kind of willing the negativity on yourself. Yeah, and if you go into your shell a little bit, you forget to play those positive shots and then all of a sudden you get a bad ball and you don't put it away because you're just thinking about survival a little bit and, and working the ball into gaps rather than just waiting for the ball and reacting to it. Um, the due thing is, I mean, it's a bugbear of mine. I've, I've said it many times on the show and it's not... IPL, it's world cricket. Yeah. The toss, when there's due, has such a large factor on the game, and I don't agree with it. I, I think the ball should be just changed. Every over if it has to be. Yeah. Uh, the spin, they've got to allow the spinners to play a part in both innings. Yeah. The, the toss can't be just one and then you win because you bat second because it's so wet mm. and the ball gets wet. And it's not like any of these ICC, BCCI, not like they can't afford a few boxes of balls. <laughs> yeah. So I'm mean, saying, so, you know, and, and this is the thing. I, and if you want older balls, and I've said it so many times, you give every team 10 boxes of balls for their training. Yeah. And you go back in three days' time and you grab them back. Yeah. And you give them some more. So you've always got options of older balls to just throw out. And when it gets wet, you just give them a new one. Give them another one. Might be, might be used in the nets for five, 10 overs. It doesn't matter. Mm. But you just throw another one on because the, the advantage when there is so much dew is so heavily skewed in the side batting second. And, and I don't like the fact that, that that's the case. Yeah, can the spinners, because if the ball gets wet, the spinners won't be able to do what the Chennai spinners did. Mm. And the Chennai spinners today, well, that was a 10 on 10 performance from the Chennai spinners today, Michael. Yeah, I mean, they've got a surface. They uh, they got early wickets. That was the key. Jadeja came uh, into the attack, got wicket pretty much straight away, which gives him a boost. And all of a sudden, you could see that... Uh, you know, the KKR batters were kind of just trying to knock it around. And I don't think it's an easy pitch just to knock it around on either. I think it's uh, quite a tricky pitch. Whether it gets better, we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, I think when you give these, you know, the quality bowlers, Jadeja, Thixander, they are high-class uh, bowlers. When you give them a surface as well, and then you give them a, a bit of a couple of, a, uh, you know, wicket starts, uh, no surprise that they come out with those kind of numbers. But I thought, actually, the fizz at the end... He was the one that yeah. almost told me that it was a worse pitch than when the spinners were on. I think when the spinners were on, I just didn't think the KKR side played with that much smartness. I thought they played a couple of uh, iffy strokes, but uh, when I saw the Fizz getting, <laughs> getting that ball to spit, I thought, oh, wait a minute, this isn't a great day. Yeah, so there was four from Tikshana, four from Jadeja, one from Rachin Ravindra, and two of us a spin from Mustafizur. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> four. That, that's what he does. I mean, it, it's an incredible wrist position that he gets <laughs> yeah. into it. And, and because he does that, it, it loops and spins. It's very difficult to bowl. You watch his wrist at release, and the, the slower ball's almost coming out here yeah. because he's so supple. And it's like Murley. It, it is like Murley. Like Murley used oh. to yeah. I used to get all his wrist yeah. and all his shoulder, his elbow, and mm. everything into it. Yeah. 
And the fizz is like the that. Fizz, it gets it's like double is. jointed. Yeah. And, 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 and it just it sort of loops and dips and turns and it's so difficult to play. And, and it's hard enough for a top order player, mm. let alone guys coming in at six, seven and eight trying to whack. I mean, you saw Mitchell Stark's not, not the worst batter in the world by any stretch. He's, he's more than capable. And uh, he just couldn't lay bat on it. He could, could hardly do anything with it. Yeah, how good was uh, Fizz's line to Russell, though? That one over was so frustrating. He just, just couldn't get there. He just kept bowling it on the blue line and Russell just but, couldn't reach it. But, but where does he hit it? Yeah. If you think about a ball that's uh, a long way from your eye line, it's kind of stopping in the surface, so it's kind of gripping in the surface, so it's actually sticking in the deck and going a bit further away from you. I mean, where does he hit it? Yeah. He has one to MS Donny, he didn't catch it. And you're kind of looking on, on this. I mean, usually if it's just skidding on, you've got that ability to hit it over extra cover. They're so powerful these days. But if, if it's just stopping in the deck, you know, I guess, uh, sorry, sorry, he tried to baseball bat it into the onside, which is probably the right way to almost meet it mm. yeah. with the bat uh, in, in that position. But if you kind of go in that way and it's spinning at this angle and going across you, <laughs> no surprise in that they were missing most of them. I mean, I, mean, I, I wasn't brilliant in, uh, you know, in trigonometry, but the kind of angles <laughs> yeah. tell me that it's quite difficult to hit a ball that's coming here in the first place yeah. and then it's going even further away yeah. from you. I'm not even sure that it's trigonometry. Like, that's how bad it is for me. <laughs> Wasn't it geometry? Algebra? Oh, doesn't matter. It was all a bit of calculus for the batters today because the bowlers just had their on a play. That's just the kind of surface it's been. Now, you look at the batting card and it makes for, well, dismal reading if you're a, a KKR fan. There you go. Everybody. Everybody got a chance, right? There were nine down, so everybody got to go. Uh, but uh, there you go, Phil losing. Phil Salt in uh, the first. Actually, what happened is the first couple of overs, we didn't even figure that there's a lot happening in the surface because we just thought that Narayan has lost Salt, so he's just a little confused, mm. right? It's just seeming a little bland to him without Salt, so that's why he's struggling a bit. But uh, yeah, they, they had a decent power play, but it was only after that that it, that it started playing up. You see Shreyas, he was there for 32 balls, but it never looked like... Uh, he never looked like he was dominating uh, the bowling. Uh, Ramandeep hit one six. I remember that looked impressive, but otherwise, just it's it's poor reading. Otherwise, isn't it? Well, I mean, you look down the board and you see high quality players, good hitters of the ball, struggling. I mean, uh, you know, Russell struggled, Rinku struggled. What was he nine from seven from fourteen mm. or something like that? So they, they all struggled to get. So guys who are powerful look to hit through the line of the ball when it's coming onto the bat. All struggled. Yeah, Venkatesh Iyer. No difference. So that tells you that it's not a great surface, that it's holding, that it's very difficult to get your timing right. And you know, when you see powerful players struggling, that's generally the reason. They like the ball just sliding onto the bat a little bit more, a little bit of pace on it, yes. But if the slower balls are sliding straight on, they still hit them out of the park. Mm. When they're gripping, bouncing and, and taking anything out of there, it's almost like taking the air out of the ball. Yeah. You just can't hit them anywhere. And even when you do slightly get it, it doesn't go very far. So... It, it just, you know, we'll say it many times, it just, it, all indications point to a fairly average surface. And maybe, maybe it's the sort of surface Geno wanted. Yeah. Maybe it's the sort of pitch they want to play on. Mm. They think that their game is better suited to that type of pitch. Bowling, the bowling side of it says they're absolutely right. Mm. Can they get the job done with the bat now? Is it a great opportunity for the captain, Rituraj Gai to say, that's it, if I stay till the end, my team wins, I want to do that? Yeah, great chance. Um, won't be easy because of the pitch, but uh, yeah, when you're chasing just a, a relatively like, small number, I guess the, the pressure's not on as much to get off to a flyer, but I'm sure his mindset will be trying to get his team off to a flyer. Um, or if he can be 60-odd, not out at the end, that'll give him and his team obviously a huge boost. But him personally, it'd be, um, I'm not saying it'd be the making of him, but I think it would gather him into the next few games. If he can get a decent score and his team can get that victory tonight, uh, I think it'll do him the world of good. Mm. But it won't be easy. We gotta, uh, we gotta guess what it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were so we close. We all were really wrong. close. Yeah. We were very close. Yeah. The first innings really with our guesses close. of one eighty-one. We got the one right. One seventy-one, one ninety-one. <laughs> uh, they got one thirty-seven. What's it gonna be in the power play? Jeez, I don't know, man. I've just. <laughs> well, the furthest away from the first innings can go. That was you. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I got two numbers swimming in my head. Mm. Right. It's very not, close. That's not all that's swimming around up there, brother. <laughs> no, no, there's a lot going on in that suite. Yeah, there is. 49 and 53. Which one do you think I should pick, Michael Wolf? I think you should go 53. So I'm going to pick 49. Okay. Because so he I, led me wrong the last time. Okay, so I'm going to go 43. 43, 49. Yeah. 
You go. You're going low. Wow. I, look, Blue Ocean. I think they try and break the back of it, and someone's going to have to be overly aggressive, so I will go 59. 59. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, 43, 49, 59. This is going to be fun. All right, can Chennai do it? Can Chennai uh, successfully get this chase done? It's a very tricky surface. Uh, you might think that, uh, you know, Knight Riders could open with a little bit of spin. They've got a lot of spin. They've got a lot of pace as well. If you look at that team, obviously they have Mitchell Stark, the most expensive uh, buy in this auction. And uh, they've got Weber Varora. They've got uh, uh, Andre Russell, right? Then they've got their spinners. They've got Anukul Roy, uh, Sunil Narayan, and Varun Chakravarti. So they've got plenty of options. Boys, what do you reckon? Some spin in the power play? Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. go Narayan unless things got away from them. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe Anukul. Maybe Anukul Roy up front. It actually might be the kind of players. surface that you want someone like Mitchell start to bolt to you because of yeah. that extra bit of pace. It might just allow you to deflect the ball. So uh, as we saw from the fizz, those variations are going to be the key. Starkey has got the odd you know, cutter, but he generally just goes for the big yeah. in-swinging 90 mile an hour delivery, which sounds quite hard to face, but it's probably the kind of delivery that you want to face on that deck. On that kind of surface. All right. Well, so there you go. Uh, Chennai needs to get 138 to get those two points. Uh, Knight Riders have to defend it to go uh, four and four. Can they do four wins in a row? Can they string it together? Well, it's uh, they're up against it, but uh, their bowlers definitely will feel that they're up for the challenge. This is perhaps the first challenge these bowlers have got, so uh, they'll probably relish that. All right, we'll see you at the end of the 10th over with Crick Buzz Combox. See how this uh, chase is going for uh, Chennai. Thank you for watching Crick Buzz Live. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Hyderabad Express, Nairobi Station, Data Deep Mobile. Kepanjang, 